A month after being sworn in as acting Chief Justice of Nigeria, Kudurat Kekereku steps into the hallowed chamber for a mandatory screening and confirmation by lawmakers. Kekereku, who was accompanied by the upper echelons of Nigeria's judiciary, quickly settled in, taking tough questions from lawmakers and in most cases, reading the riot act. If confirmed, what steps are you going to take to ensure the independence of the judiciary? The Chief Justice vowed to stamp out corruption in the judiciary and deal ruthlessly with erring judicial officers. In order to ensure that the integrity of the, of the judiciary is maintained, I will ensure that the code of conduct is fully complied with. I will ensure that there is zero tolerance for corruption. She promised to exhibit the highest level of integrity and discipline in the judiciary, warning sternly that the days of conflicting court judgments are over and that any judicial officer found culpable, abusing court processes or trying to mislead the court would face sanctions. She frowns at a disturbing trend that sees judges indiscriminately issuing expatriate motions. These two on the what she says would attract serious punishment. If there's a situation where a judge is found to have expatriate orders prepared in advance, such a judge should be reported to the NJC and necessary action will be taken. It is not fair even on the judiciary when these allegations are made and nothing is done to substantiate them or to, to follow up on them. And we know that even when um, petitions are filed before the NJC, in some instances, you find that the petitioner comes back and withdraws the petition. So it is important for the NJC to be able to exercise its own powers that this sort of matters are brought to its attention. Um, and then the grant of expertise order is discretionary, but there are guidelines. So where a judge is found to have ignored those guidelines, to have acted uh, without due regard to proper process, or even the facts of the matter, then the necessary action will be taken once it is brought to the attention of the National Judicial Council. President of the Senate, Goswila Kwabio, wanted to know what she would do to lawyers who are fond of discussing pending cases on television. Under your tenure, yes. will there be a procedure where you bring some of them to justice? Because they ought not to, because their comments and their analysis tend to influence the final outcome of those cases. And in most instances, tend to uh, bring about injustice. Because they are not aware, they are not says of the facts that are before their lordships. Yes. But they will go out there, instead of arguing the cases in the, in the court, they will go and sit down on television and be arguing the cases on television. Kekiria could reply with another stern warning to those who indulge in such content of court. A senior member of the bar who has um, earned the rank of um, silk, it's a, it's a privilege. It's not a right. And that privilege could be withdrawn if it is abused. So in any of these situations, the courts too, we use their own powers. We, we do have powers where a matter is sub judice and somebody goes in, out in public on the t television station, media, social media, to comment on those cases because it does have a negative effect on the administration of justice on how we handle our cases. Because when you then give a judgment, the, 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 the way it is assessed is based on what has been in social media. But notwithstanding that, I would say that judges know the oath they have taken and will abide by that oath and not be influenced by social media. Kikureku hopes to embrace technology, including virtual court sittings, to speed up cases, even as she advised courts to fine tune their rules and eliminate unnecessary bottlenecks. According to her, pre election matters should terminate at the Court of Appeal to allow the Supreme Court deal with pressing policy matters. After roughly two hours of screening, 
Senate finds Kekiria Kun fit for the job and swiftly confirmed her. President Bonatinambu had in August appointed Kudirat Kekiria Kun as acting Chief Justice of Nigeria following the retirement of Justice Olukaode Ariwola. Kekiria Kun stands on the threshold of history as the 23rd Chief Justice of Nigeria and the second woman to occupy the seat. Omo Bazwai Arise News.